Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> that was some of the best banter and best everything we've ever done on this show. Nobody could hear it. I even had a funny introduction. I mean, we'll just, we'll, we're going to wait for people to start trickling back in since I probably just, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Hi, everybody. We're back. A little technical difficulty. I don't know. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Testing. One, two, three. Derby can hear you. Yes. All right. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Um, yeah, so that was a thing. I don't know what happened. Everything was out the same. You couldn't hear me. You missed all the witty banter. It was amazing. You know, it's lost to the ether. You can't duplicate it. So we're just going to start over and we're going to do it again. Welcome to Side Dish. It's me, Doug. It's December 12th. My birthday is tomorrow. Birthday? Your birthday. Yeah. I may have had a little bit of scotch scotch and other things. So it's going to be a fun night. So we're making sinful stuff, as I said in the old uh, description of what we're doing here. And so sinful stuff is a is a appetizer. We you could I mean you know what we've done sometimes. Didn't we do this once where we had like potatoes and we put it on top of the oh, potato chopper? Yeah. yeah, that was good. Or you could put it in, mix it in with the um, twice baked potatoes would always be good too. It's it's pretty pretty good. Um, you could throw some uh, noodles in there and it'd be like super decadent yeah. macaroni and cheese. Yeah, it would also be. It has a little ham in there. That's pretty good. So uh, we usually make it around Christmas, Thanksgiving time because it's hot. And so we're, as we're, whoa. I was looking at the ingredients. Yeah. So we've got a list here of stuff. It's, uh, we've got sour cream, Worcestershire sauce. Garlic powder, onion powder, diced green chilies. Um, these are mild. If you wanted to go hotter, you could put those in there or substitute uh, jalapenos. Jal jalapenos. That'd be really good. And jalapenos. Three green onions, uh, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese, and one thick old ham steak. Big old ham steak. <laughs> yeah. So, you are a weirdo. <coughs> or Canadian bacon. Or Canadian bacon would work. But uh, the, the deal is you're going to want to chop it thin because it's going to integrate. Um, this comes together fairly fast. It's in a bread bowl. Anything good comes in a bread bowl. We talked about that, that you totally miss all the things that were in a bread bowl. Let's you, say them again. Uh, soup, stew, chowder. Uh, what else did I say? I don't know. Chili. Chili. There we go. If you've got, what do you like to eat out of a bread bowl? Just the bread filling? That's also delicious. Um, mm. Oh, I saw somebody who took who took that, and then they put bacon strips in there, uncooked, but lattice them in there, and then put like I don't know, they put like a bunch of other stuff in there, and it like was it a wizard? Uh, yeah, he did have a long <laughs> beard and a pointy hat. Now that you mentioned it, but he uh, he put it all in there, and it like put together, and he put it together, and it like cooked the bacon, and like the bacon grease got nicely in you there. You can't just talk about these things and not know what the other ingredients were in there. It was like ground beef and like, but mixed. Oh, it was like a dinner thing? Dinner, yeah, but kind of a, I think it had rice and ground beef and so it was like a inside of a bread bowl. It was almost like a This stuff. is starting to get a little. You think I'm making it up? I think you might be. No, I'm not. It's going to be, it's good. <laughs> so what we got here is it's going to come together fairly simple. It's just mix and go. But the magic is when you get to eat it. I have a question. Amy also has a question. Anybody else got a question? Why do you have, why are you miss, why are you weighing things? Oh, because I have a uh, three pound thing of sour cream and I need 16 ounces out of it. And so to get 16 ounces, I don't have a one container that's 16 ounces. I need to get it out of here. Okay. So... Let's just, let's, just, let's just get this going. We need original Philadelphia cream cheese. Room temperature. Room temperature, because you're going to need to mix this together. And if you try and do it not room temperature, you're going to have a real sad time. Are you going to microwave it? 
No. No, I sitting, sometimes do. Because... It's been sitting out since 4 p.m. Okay. We should be fine. I think that's fine, right? Well, you're stronger than I am, too. So. No, I mean, it should be fine. It won't poison you. Oh, yeah. No, it's not going to poison you. <laughs> I enjoy that. I enjoy it. You know what? That's love. Everybody. <laughs> she was worried about that I'm strong enough to mix it. And I was worried about that I would be poisoned. So, I mean, different strokes, different folks. I like it. Uh, don't waste cream cheese. It's so good. Now, you don't have to do this. It seems like this just seems like an obsessive compulsive person working. But It seems like the scotch might be talking. But... <laughs> It is delightful. Uh, okay. Wow, that was like average. So all I'm going to do is I've got this. I'm zeroing this that scale out. And I'm just going to take this gigantic thing of sour cream, and I'm going to mix it in here until I see one pound. Now, that seems like a lot of sour cream. It's 16 ounces, though. That's one pound, correct? Yeah. Yeah. It does seem like a lot. Yeah, but the recipe I, I saw was... I have to look at this. The recipe? No, what you're doing here. I'm watching you, man. It's just one carton. I suppose that's true. Oh, man. If I do, I keep doing this, we'll be here all night. <laughs> We're changing this channel to watch Doug scoop things. <laughs> you know what? There's probably an audience out there for that. Especially, oh, you're doing, your, your arm's doing that thing. What thing? Where what where you're really concentrating on your dominant arm and your non-dominant arm does weird stuff. Yeah. Well, also I was really excited because that last one was one pound exactly. So I mean, you know, I I think we've discussed this, but and maybe it's transferring over to weights now. But I have the I have the inane ability to make a, a tinfoil wrap uh, the exact size I needed every single time. If there was some sort of uh, aluminum games. I would be, I'd be a shoe. -in. Somebody call Reynolds and let him know. Yeah, this this is a good idea, Reynolds people. I, I know you're not watching, but if you were, <laughs> you would the Reynolds best. rap games. And do I have some events for you? I've been thinking about this. <laughs> okay, we do have a few questions. I'm here to answer them. <laughs> okay, I assume you're going to show the size of ham steak before you cut it up. You're absolutely correct. Okay. Uh, how big is that cheese? <laughs> Comically sized. That's for sure. That is. There's a suggestion that you should not eat 16 ounces of sour cream in one sitting. Don't tell me how I live my life. I don't come to your house and be like, don't eat a bunch of candy, but you probably do. All right. So I've got one <laughs> teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now, we've, we're, we've been discussing this recipe today about what you add and what you don't add. And um, so this is based on some stuff called Mississippi Sin Dip. Yeah. We keep a lot of it. Some of the stuff we don't add, there's hot sauce in that. We don't put hot sauce in this, but we do put diced green chilies and they don't. We also don't garnish with green onions. We just mix it into the green. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's got time. So I'm doing, I got a half, we're doing half teaspoon each of onion powder. And I think we discussed this and I actually found like real, this is garlic powder, but we're doing garlic powder and onion powder. One half teaspoon each. No, half teaspoon each. Is that what I said? Yeah, one half teaspoon okay. each. Yeah. You're okay. So. You got it. Yeah, I'm good. We are, and then half there, and again, it's not a ton, but it is gonna it is gonna impart good flavor all the way through. So you and I kind of we differ on this as well. You don't put that in there? No, I usually put like a tablespoon of the pre-chopped garlic, but you hate pre-chopped garlic. Yeah, so you do would not, not like pre-chopped garlic. If I was gonna put garlic in it, like put I would just do it fresh because then you get the oils from it. But it's really good. Um you guys should uh, you should grow your own green onions. I got like a got like a little farm going over to the side. It's uh, just green onion cuts. And so really, I was starting to I was was putting them in water, and then I decided 
Nah, I'm not right gonna do into that. the soil. Yeah, right into the soil. So far, none of them look dead. So I think we're on the right track. The other day it was weird. You were like stalking me at the sink when I was cutting green onions because you wanted that that end. I, and I was like, what what are you doing? Why sometimes do you, I lurk. You want? <laughs> and you know. Sometimes. Oh yeah, you didn't wash your green onions. Libby is pointing it out. Libby, don't tell me my business. About Thank you, that. Libby. Sometimes he forgets to also, wash his. Also, Libby, just a heads up. Fred called you old today. <gasps> Whatever. She said, "My old friend, Libby." Ha 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 ha! This kidding. Don't tell her. Oh, you're but, totally not in the camera. <laughs> yeah, because okay, my no, camera person, she is dodgy. <laughs> are you happy now, Libby? Congratulations. Did you just call your wife dodgy? No, I didn't. I mean, <laughs> Yes, tonight, you know, sometimes we're drinking wine, drinking scat, having a, you know, having a good time. I'm not. Uh, People are working on the first annual tinfoil games for you, honey. I'm telling you, I'm going to win them. You'll see me. And you know what? The the top prize is aluminum. You don't get a gold medal, you get an aluminum medal. So and gorgeous. actually, really, all it is is, you know, when you're done with tinfoil, you're just, just like scratch that. And somebody like flexes it exactly. out. Exactly. That's all it is. It doesn't even say first place on it. It's just the tinfoil ball. That's been I think. Out. Uh, I think after you make this, we could make the metal. <laughs> we could. Uh, oh, let me get your get chopping skills. I am going. Uh, I don't know, small dice here or small chop. I uh, this knife. I love it so much. I don't know if I sharpen it too much, but I like it. I like it nice and sharp. You want it, you especially when you're cutting like tomatoes and onions and stuff like that. It it makes a huge difference. Plus, a dull knife. That's how you get cut. Yeah, dull knives are dangerous. Yeah. Whoa! Why would you let it run away like that? I I'm not in charge. You're. We have established. You are quality control on this project. Oh. So shoot. all right. This is actually, I think Libby is. No, at this she point. is not. Nobody, <laughs> Libby's just bossy, but that's fine. That's Whatever. she's trying to. She's trying to take care of us. That's fine. She All doesn't right. want us to get salmonella or something. Salmonella. Salmonella sounds like a guy you buy rugs from. <laughs> like, go to my rug guy, Salmonella. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I think that's pretty funny. You want the rug? I buy a rug from me. Is anybody else just shaking their head right now? All right, so I'm just adding this in. Again, this is an ad dish. This isn't like, a, oh, I gotta prepare it. I gotta, you don't even have to cook anything until the end. And then, then it's ready to go. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> now we're making up names for Sal Manila, like Sal Vanilla. <laughs> uh, okay, so there was also much debate about the dice cream chili juice. I, Amy's mom says don't, uh, to dump it. Amy said, D I don't dump it. I dump half of it. I'm right in the middle because I'm a peacemaker. How I'm do you know what's half? Uh, I count. <laughs> you just said, Whoop, and yeah. that's it. Yeah. Okay. I just got rid of the right. obvious stuff and the rest of it goes in there because they're juicy. 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 The juicy wheel. I love that song. All right. Ready for the ham steak reveal? Da -na -na, da -na 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 -na. <laughs> this is what you got. That's. It's pretty thick. I like my ham steaks thick. <laughs> so, uh, for the. I think I may have went a little too thin the last time. No. You don't think so? Mm -mm. Okay. So, this will be a tedious thing for you as well. Uh, I'm going real thick. Like quarter of an inch. No, not even. I mean, that's... Yeah. Well, uh, because... We, it's cubed. We often do use Canadian bacon, which is thinner, so... That's true. I think it's okay what you're doing. Yeah. Do you mean a big old ham steak? Big old ham steak. Or <laughs> <laughs> all the ham. All the ham. So. Uh, do you have any big birthday plans, Doug Bookie? Do I have any birthday? I'm being awesome. I mean, isn't that isn't that like <laughs> isn't that like enough of a plan? Um, I don't You're know. gonna spend all day 
playing with your new tool. Oh yeah, I got a bandsaw, a nine-inch tabletop bandsaw. I'm gonna be this many. I'm gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna be this many years old by the end of it. <laughs> but now remember, folks. <laughs> If, if next week I have to do a disclaimer at the beginning of the show because I've lost a finger, you know why. And a wife. And a wife. I don't know. I could probably. I think I could probably. What if I had a bandage? What if they reattached my finger? Is it like? Okay, that doesn't count. Okay. And is, a, a digit is not a limb. Like your hand is your limb. The, these are digits. digits are very important. I'm not saying they're not important. It's not an argument about digits being important or not important. Of course, you couldn't do this. I mean, look, look at my dancing phalanges. They're not like something that you can actually, you know. So, like, <laughs> you, I'm not saying fingers aren't important. Could you imagine going through with a stump? It's just like walking around with a club on the end of your hand. The only good is as far as hitting people in the head. There are people who are differently able who are going to be offended by what you do. Probably, but they also have really cool bionics, probably, or hate, like things to help them. Like uh, I've seen. I don't think you can dig out of this. Uh, there is some negotiation happening about an exchange for use of your bandsaw for uh, use of a compost shredder. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe. I thought you already earned the compost shredder. I know. It feels like that that has already been negotiated. <laughs> well, here's the deal. If it, John John likes to double promise sometimes, and here's the, <laughs> like you can use that because he'll think, oh, he forgot. Well, you did. I, no, I did not. Oh. I haven't done anything with it yet. Okay. Because I'm lazy. What we really need is for John to get over here to help you just build the compost Ooh, bins. What I need is I was thinking about it. You know what else I would like? A planer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Teddy says you can't dig out, especially without your fingers. <laughs> See? Ted knows exactly what I'm talking about. A All planer? Right. Is that what mom thought you were talking about instead of a... I don't know. Maybe. But it's like a thing where you run wood through and it. And it like, yeah, takes... I know. You've always wanted one of those. Because every wood... I think you just think they're nifty. Every woodworking thing I've ever seen. And plus, if the Rainbow Market continues to give me free wood in pallet form, I could re run those through there and have good pieces of wood. Okay. I can do projects. Projects. All right. You so, know, we're all about the projects. Projects. So... A thickness planer. Yeah, is that who said it? Teddy. Well, yeah. So then every board is the same thickness. Oh, okay. It's for accuracy. Accuracy. Actually, or it would be maybe even better to have that as a whole garage, uh, like a non Roomba based vacuum system for tools so that you could hook it up. And when you're running your tools, all the sawdust it goes into a bag. I mean, Cool. Doesn't Teddy have one of those? Yes, Teddy does have one of those that he got at a... Uh, it's a good question, place. Jan. Jan would like to know what you're going to build. I don't think there are actually any plans for that, Jan. It's none of your he business. just wants all the tools. First of all, <laughs> it's none of your damn business, and I'll thank you kindly this out of my personal affairs. <laughs> Second of all, nobody asked you. No. Uh, I don't know. I mean, whatever I want, eventually. But, I don't know. Maybe I... Uh, Maybe I'll need them in the future. <laughs> that's ominous. See, that's how you get, that's how you get people back. I, I was, that's how people start to think that we're preppers, honey. When you do I mean, stuff come. like that. All right. So, okay, Dad. Okay. That's what Chan says. Okay, everybody. <laughs> so now here here comes your nightly sight gag. Ready? Here we go. FYI. We need two. Prior to this, I had to hold that, that for. Is, <laughs> she had to hold this well I just did this because it's I mean it's yeah the other way that sounded you marked this is not good for kids right why what did I say <laughs> just the whole visual is pretty awful <laughs> uh, this visual <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is called sinful stuff so it is getting a little it is that so funny getting a little blue tonight we need two cups of sharp cheddar cheese that is sharp cheddar cheese Libby wants to know if that is seriously how you're going to shred it yes i am <laughs> You what? This isn't how normal people do it. Okay, so 
For okay. anyone who's ever met Doug's mom, he comes home the other day with two of these blocks of cheese. What are they, five pounds They're each? They're five pounds each. They were such a deal. Five pounds for $12. This one has been in the freezer. It's a little bit frozen in the middle still. It's fine. But it's going to be fine. Oh, you're getting dangerously close to I shredding think, your I, finger. No, I think I'm okay. <laughs> And my mom did suggest earlier that we get out the food processor, and Doug refused. So this here is, we go, folks. Look how much funnier this is. This is hilarious. <laughs> Plus, we got we got any window jokes. We got all kinds <laughs> of stuff going on. I mean, it is. Why don't I, you cut a piece off? Where is the humor in that? <laughs> I think I got what I need, anyways. <laughs> It's a very good question, Kim. <laughs> she says, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> we're having a good time is what we're doing. All right. The knuckle skin is just more big old Doug steak. <laughs> big old ham steak. <laughs> Did you slice your knuckle? Did you grate your knuckle? Okay. I got close, but you're, the warning. Oh, goodness. Right. That was crazy. So this says... Two cups. So I'm kind of just patting it down a little bit to make sure that all, you know there's air gaps in here, and I'd hate to um, you know kind of um, not give myself the maximum amount. Of good cheese. job, good job. Don't short cheese yourself. Yeah. So one, and I'm gonna just probably guess we're gonna put all of this in here, but let's just go through the motion of measuring it to see if we. <laughs> Because again, remember, maybe my superpower is, is actually eyeballing the things I want. Now, this is not a real test of it because I can I could make this into like a uh, shredded cheese ball if I wanted to, and I don't want to do that. So, all right, I'll just put the rest of it in here. This is ridiculous. All right, uh, ham steak, Worcestershire sauce, sour cream, and cream cheese, both of the creams. So, of the cheese variety and the sour variety. Green onions, green chilies. Green onions, green chilies, and uh, cheddar cheese. Okay. All right, let's let's mix. Now, I do have a comically oversized um, wooden spoon as well, but I didn't get it out. So, it's like that one's not comically. That's the burned one, the one I burned. Oh yeah, but it's still it still stirs very well. I don't think the burning has anything to do with it. So. Oh, are you getting that just gross sound? <laughs> when you mix a <laughs> lot of wet sounds together, it's just like, what's, it's like I'm stirring honey with my hand. <laughs> you want to get everything really incorporated because, you know, we did put in um, dry spice in there. And so you don't want to get just one bite that's just all garlic butter. You're like, oh, it's yeah, not really going to happen. But. So, oh, man. This is gonna be so good. All right, that's it. That's it. Right there. That's what you want. Look at that consistency. We can't. Oh yeah, we can't see it. Never mind. So. Okay. Waste not, want not. I got this. Is what I used to get it up. But it's mostly I don't want to lose any of this deliciousness. Now, let that sit and be get to a place where we like it. Oh, you didn't track me at all. I didn't. No, I did not. This is what you saw, folks, would be go, it's gone. And then I like this. Here I am, look at this bread. <laughs> all right, so we've got a sourdough bread bowl here. I forgot that you have to, you know, in this show, if I'm baked for 30 minutes, so you know. What that means, but so I had to buy this. But normally I would just use one of the white the white loaves that we that we've made on here before. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go pretty deep, but not too deep, and then I'm just coming around the mountain here. And I'm just going to get in there. Ooh, boom. That's a good, that's, that's, that's good movement. Now, you don't want all of it. You know what? I, 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 we're going to get back. We'll get back to this. 
Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're right. So not only do we want to keep, we want to cut, um, I would say, like that off of there because it's just going to go back on top. But we're going to cube this bread. So the other thing is we're going to take out up in, again, all of the delicious, nice, fluffy bread from the sides here. It's uh, almost like you're de-seeding a pumpkin. You know, you're trying to get all the guts out of it. But we're going to, instead of throwing those guts away and saving only little bits of the seeds, we're going to use this for the dipping. So make sure you get all the pieces. You got corners too. All right. An empty breadboard. So now all we're going to do, see what I did there? I, I adjusted so that people could see me pouring. Good in. job. I know. We're just going to add it. And you're thinking, Doug, that's such a lot of, of sinful stuff. How in the hell is it all going to fit perfectly? The recipe calls for one bread bowl. Um, and every time it seems to fill up one bread bowl. So I, I guess that it's a magic recipe when you make it. <clears throat> I uh, would normally buy a, a loaf as well, like a French bread loaf or something. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. So that you can... You know, like, especially if you're going to take it somewhere, so you can slice that up and use it. And then you can use the, the stuff you cut out of there. You can use it for uh, breadcrumbs. Yeah. Again, waste not, want not. But we forgot to do that, so we're using the the guts, yeah. which really is what the recipe is meant for. It just looks nicer if you slice something. Yeah. All right. Get a little here, get a little here. Well, that looks really good. Everything looks great. And then we're gonna take this this nice bit. Oh, nope, that's not it, man. Why didn't you? I it, it's like the round hole in the square peg. I should be able to do this. I cut it out, but it's gonna. Nope, that's not it either. Four times the charm. So that, and then <laughs> we're gonna very. I'm gonna move this off camera. No. And then, and then just take your bread here. And, you know, delicious, squishy-sized pieces. That's really all you're kind of looking for. Make sure that you have enough. You want enough You want enough square footage on these that you can get a lot of tape on. <laughs> that's, that's what we're looking for. And these three are for me. I just put it on top of No. Uh, though, yeah. if you have leftovers, it does make a delicious baked potato topper, or uh, you can add it into twice baked potatoes. You could. We talked about this already. No, we did not. We did not talk on air about this. You and I talked about this. We didn't? No. You and I talked about it before the stream started. Oh. So, um, I mean, this is a, not a bad amount. Just go ahead and eat that. I know it's cold, but it's still good. <laughs> and um, all right, now now some fun stuff. We're gonna wrap up a not wrap up. So Amy's better at this part, so she just we just wrap it up because we want to keep the heat in. We also the bread's done, so we don't really want to toast the outside of it. And so the moisture that gets trapped in here will help just like make it real nice and soft and delicious. The other great part about this is when you're getting towards the end, you can like just slice the bread that's on the outside. Holy moly, it's so good. So you can do it. Start your oven, warm it up to 350 and get it up there. And then um, have yourself a drink of 12 year old scotch. And then put it in the oven, 30 minutes. That's all you need. And if you're, Denise is reaching in from off camera. If you're prepared like we are, here at Side Dish, you made two. I didn't give it away! <laughs> last, last time, I gave it away that we were doing it. I'd like to present you 
with your first place prize <laughs> for the aluminum. It's not even a round thing. It's just like. Well, you could try a little harder. Well, that's, the, that's the joy of it. <clears throat> All right. So <clears throat> I should say you want it, it's going to be warm, but you want to check on it maybe at around the 30 minute mark. Oh, no, that's good. Nice and soft. Put that off to the side and heat. What's that? What's that could be your tester right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's gonna oh it's gonna be hot though. Is it steaming? Might not be hot enough. I'll tell you right now. It's not hot enough. <laughs> it's funny. It'll be fun. <laughs> we'll let more heat in. It's warm. It's not like piping, like, oh my god, it's gonna burn the top of my mouth. Okay, but the thing I like about this is you can put it all in the bowl. You can wrap it all up in foil. Mm -hmm. You can take it to someone's house and stick it, you know, if you're a guest, and stick it in their oven, and then it's good. Why are you looking at me like that? Because Did I say I was, something funny? No, I was thinking that, that <laughs> stick it in your oven sounds like an insult. <laughs> stick it in your oven, buddy. <laughs> oh, Salmonella can stick it in his oven. <laughs> but... So I will put this back in, <clears throat> but right, we could we could eat. How long was it in there? Thirty minutes. It was in thirty minutes. At the same time, so you can see I, this is one of the loaves of bread that I I made. So um, you can tell by its irregular shape. Um, we'll put this. We will put this back in. Yes, I know that I I crumpled up my top, so now I have to do the uncrumpling of shame, and <laughs> and you know. Can you top it with chicken nuggets? Ray would like to know. Ray, you can do anything with chicken nuggets. According to you, they're a perfect party party gift. So. <laughs> they are. I've been plenty drunk. I like it when foil looks like that. It does I look uh, more artsy, fartsy. Cool, yeah. <clears throat> so cover it back up. Put it in for a little while longer. 15 minutes, I think we'll probably do it. Um, but Maybe your have... oven isn't hot enough. 350. Let's boost it to 400. Okay, well, you told me 350, so. Well, I lied. A good chef never gives everything away. Denise is the queen of that. <laughs> no, 20 actually, years I've been trying. Actually, Denise's mom is the queen of yeah, that. Yeah, well, she learned from the best because I got to tell you, I've been trying to get, I'm trying to taste my way through a chicken and van recipe for 20 years. And it's like, <laughs> something missing in there. So, <laughs> all right. That. You're done. That's it. You gotta wait. Like Amy said, the best part about this, you could prepare this the night before, get everything ready, put it in the refrigerator, wrapped in the tin foil, take it out, take it, put, throw it right into a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes ish, and then you got a delicious dip. And it's you can see it makes quite a bit. I mean, when you think about it, it does have a pound of sour cream in it and eight <laughs> ounces of cream cheese. So. Not going to be all good on the old holiday waistline if you're trying to do some sit-ups. They're going to be a little bit more difficult this week. So so we did talk last week about how we do not do traditional Christmas dinner. Yeah. We do appetizers all day long. And in non-COVID years, we invite friends to stop by whenever they can. And um, there's always an, an appetizer or two or three or four ready at the time. This is a standby for... Yeah. I think I think since we started that uh, tradition. So. Yeah, we had it. We used to eat it before that, anyways. I mean, we used to just eat it like around this time of year. Oh yeah, 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 I yeah. Guess this was just hey, we're making sinful stuff. Um, that I mean, oh, I I set the timer for three hours and fifty nine minutes instead of raising the temperature. I, did, I did. That's funny. Okay. Good thing we're at the end of this because it might get dangerous. Um, wow, this was a short one. Uh, Only 34 minutes. 34. Well, we Was did. there some talk about chicken banana? I don't remember a talk about She's chicken. Asking what the recipe is. Who? Chicken divan. She oh, chicken divan. Yeah, chicken banana. Mm -hmm. Chicken banana. <laughs> I don't it's know how to spell the van. Basically what D you I B A N? Uh, I think there's an A in there somewhere. I uh, did put an A. Oh, but you, uh, you, you only get chicken divan if you're recovering from that's something. That's true. Or Denise feels really bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. 
Um, it's very labor intensive. But chicken recipe. banana is definitely a different thing, though. <laughs> you take a whole I'm chicken, whole chicken, and stuff it full of bananas. Throw it I whatever, think chicken banana four, is. Oh, whatever. John also heard chicken banana. <laughs> well, I don't think I said great chicken banana. Great minds think alike. But if I did say chicken banana, that's a thing. Yes, the rumors are true. Tomorrow is my 43rd birthday. You're oh. level 43. I don't look a day over five. So, <laughs> Except for your gray hair. That, that, I had gray hair when I was five. I also had a Beatles bowl cut. You did not have gray hair when you were five. Probably. Jan. I did, but I did have a Beatles bowl cut. There's proof from the pictures out that, there. Yes. I look like, uh, I look like I had a bowl on my head. But when your mom cuts your hair, that's what you yep. get. Uh, we did it. We made it through another one. Make this. You will not. It's like corn dip. You will not regret doing it. It's gonna make your life better. You're gonna you're gonna get in there, and then you're gonna think of like, ooh, I a little more spice. That's when you throw the hot sauce in there. Switch out the diced cream chilies with jalapenos. It would be really good. At that point, you're kind of pushing it to maybe be in like a jalapeno popper dip. You could. Oh, that's a good idea. I do make jalapeno you popper do. dip. You know what? The, another dip. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some of these appetizer dips. Probably leading up to the Christmas season, just so we can show you what we like. Um, that there's a Reuben dip. Oh, so it's, it's what is it? Roast crock pot. Crock pot That's Reuben crock dip. Pot, yeah. And it's just like it's it's roast beef and uh, uh, sauerkraut so, and in uh, Russian dressing. So yeah, because when we were moving, Aaron made fun of us because we have <laughs> like six little crock pots no. and like four big ones. No. We have, and she was like. The first party you have at your house, it better be nothing but crock That's pots. a true point. That is a true <laughs> and point. And I think I made I made like four crock pot things the first time they were over here. Yeah, I, I believe that was true. <laughs> um, You're getting lots of birthday wishes, honey. Well, you know, I will. That's that's good. I'll get more. I'll get more tomorrow when Facebook reminds everybody too. <laughs> Here's a pro tip for that: if Facebook tells you it's somebody's birthday and you have their number in your phone, don't do it on Facebook. Text them. The more you know. Uh, <laughs> it seems more genuine. It that definitely way. seems more genuine. Hey, I was just thinking about you on your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank Take you. care. Um, game the system. Don't let I don't ever know anyone's in. birthday, so I don't expect people to know mine. Is it, Matt never knows my birthday. It'll be January 22nd. He'll be like, happy birthday. <laughs> but secretly, he does know my birthday, and he just likes to mess with me. A lot of people are uh, actually very pro tiny crock pot. I mean, listen, for there's a, a lot man, of good stuff for a two man a crew. Crock pot. For a two man crew, there's a two man crew. It's, it's like a good band, one, like two live crew. So it was my, we're two man crew. Welcome to the stage. Uh, it's good for like when Amy and I had a even just four us, people, four people. Yeah, you can. It they're perfect for that, and you you get make just enough <laughs> so you don't have tons of leftovers and. You get it. So we're going to do a bunch of those. I'm, we're going to do we have bacon wrap dates. We're going to do what else do we make that's really good? We have a list. What happened to the list? It's, oh, here's the list right here. Yeah. So we're, we're going to do also, we have some lists for pantry power ups. I'd like to, if you have pantry power ups, deviled eggs. We're going to do deviled eggs different ways. Yeah, you know, that's true. With we're going to have a deviled egg uh, taste stock. What? Are you going to yes. be on camera? No, I'm uh, going to do mine over here. <laughs> Then we're gonna, yeah, and then we have, uh, we're gonna, we want to do some sauces later. Yeah, we're gonna, but so we were talking about pantry power up because it's such a great idea. But I went out and yeah. bought the domain names for them, so don't try and undercut me. I'm a smart one. Does Teddy uh, have his costume? <laughs> <laughs> about pantry we're gonna power. do, uh, we're next time we do pantry power up, we're doing Andrea's onions. Actually, they're Rusty's That's onions. That's not true. No, we didn't talk, we talked about not doing it there. We talked to Dad there as a steakhouse side. We already did steakhouse side, so it has to be a pantry power up. No, it could be a bit steakhouse side. We're just adding a new one. It's just, it's a nice onion. Okay. Listen, this is what the banter you come for, folks. Um, spaghetti sauce? Yeah, we're going to take like canned spaghetti sauce and make it better. Mayonnaise, which we learned how to make when we were doing Whole30. Oh, that's right. So make, we'll, we'll show you how to make mayonnaise, <laughs> how to jazz it up into an aioli. Ooh la la. Add, 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 add a that makes it. Yeah. Um, 
and then so those are going to lead us off into a lot of it and then i don't know we're on uh, episode 30 next week uh 30 yeah episode 30 where is uh when is chris what day is christmas on we probably the will actual be, day i think we will be taking i don't know oh so you might get lucky you might have a christmas edition oh we'd still do it on christmas yeah maybe i don't get dressed usually well i put pjs on but you can't you don't get dressed. You get up in presents in the mood. I mean, you can. You could. But um, nobody's stopping you. All right. I'm Have we gonna... wasted enough time to try again? Oh, I didn't put I didn't put the old one back in there. What? No, because the other one's in there. What the heck, guys? It's gonna be fine. We have two ovens. We do, but I didn't start the other one, and by the time it's warm, it's not going to be good. Lord, I don't want to waste these people's time. <laughs> As you have for the past forty. Five and minutes. Half minutes. Whatever. We had five minutes where nobody could hear me. So I'm just making up for the first five minutes of the dance. Tell them how, uh, wait, did the watermelon go away since last week? Yes. yes watermelon is gone. About that. It's currently in the, it's currently in eating with the, the, no, it's not eating with the worms. It's eaten by the worms. And uh, they are loving it. Yeah, they're loving it. Um, for some reason, we had uh, our, cam our uh, watermelon that has sat on the counter, undisturbed by either of us or the housekeeper or anyone. June? Denise brought it over because mom likes watermelon, but I don't like watermelon, and so I never bothered to cut it open. Yeah. So we for and, and because and, I am a jerk. <laughs> so it was, you know, four months, five months, six months, I don't even know. And uh, so then Amy's like, we gotta get rid of this watermelon. I don't even know how it's still good. Um, because it has a thick rind and it was protecting. Um, I just teased you, and I teased our viewers about how oh, that watermelon's been sitting there. That's for true. Months. And then, then you made a mention of it, and, I, and we moved it. Uh, it's good worm fruit, though. Uh, so now I you think can, I mean, maybe you can tomorrow. Watch, I have an idea. Now you can watch the yam and the squash. <laughs> the squash is an eight winter squash. It is designed to be stored all winter. If you don't know that, not That's a, in a seventy-two degree yes. house. Yes, it is. No, in yes. a like cool cellar. Whatever. I don't want to talk about it. I'm a gardener here. But that is uh, butter, butternut squash. Okay. Okay. Um, what else have we got? That's it. I think I think we did it. Definitely try this. It's uh, it's pretty simple. Amy has a recipe somewhere. If you can't, if you want to just go with the Mississippi Sin recipe, you can look that up. Don't do that. But hey, listen, I'm just saying add green chilies, mix in three. Are you still not posting the recipes with this thing? Yeah. But I, I, Forget, as Uncle Dale used to say, I drink and then I sleep, and when I sleep, I forget, and I've slept since then. <laughs> so <laughs> it was the most. It, I I like to use that because it's like that's wait, true. That's wait, exactly what? what happens. Yeah. So yeah, you can use Mississippi Sin Dips and you know change a few things, or I don't know, make it the way they suggest and let us know how it is. Yeah. The other thing too is. Um, I think this is, you could probably use this as a good base if you want, you know, and see what, add fresh garlic in there or take. Add some sriracha. Add some, that would be really good is add some good sriracha, add horseradish to it. I think that would also be really good. Add some little tiny shrimp. Yep. Um, add, Although you're not supposed to really mix cheese and shrimp. It might give you a bellyache, but try it. Um, crab, crab be good. Crab would be, actually, crab would be top notch. Yeah. We Speaking of crab, I made crab cakes this week, and then I made this. Who made them? Oh, well, we did it together. I cooked them. Amy made them into balls and patties. Um, but then I made this. Uh, it's a lemon and dill aioli. So good. It's so good. But we had a lot of it left over because I can't make just for two people. And so I made salmon yesterday for dinner, and I was like, I had lemons. I had some shallots. And then I took that sauce, spread it on top. Hot damn, people. That was really good. What was in it? It was uh, mayonnaise, un uh, garlic, fresh dill, uh, and lemon. Two li like a lemon and a half of juice. That's it? No sour cream? No, there's no sour cream. It was just mayonnaise? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I always make it that way. I'm glad you didn't tell me that ahead of time. Sometimes I get weird about just mayonnaise things. What do you think of the tartar sauce? I try not to think about it. It's just so good. Uh, we will be, oh, that's the other thing. 
side dishes for your side dishes, sauces, and other dipping things. And oh, things like I that. like it. Yeah. That's funny. So we will be doing some stuff like that. We might make like barbecue sauce, honey mustard, tartar sauce, cocktail sauce. Um, I think those are like, there are things that you can easily buy, but they're also really good if you make it yourself. So these are like previews of things to come in the new year. Hopefully once we escape 2020 and we move into 2021, you know, we'll, we might, we might play with the format a little bit in terms of having, instead of just straight streaming, we're going to try to stream. Maybe we could have some guest chefs too. Like I would thought about that. Korean grandma. Yeah. We've talked about that. Um, so if you, oh, speaking of, if you have like a signature side dish or appetizer that you like is your thing, like, oh, you're going to a party, you bring this, let us know. We want to hear about this. And maybe, maybe if you select, if you're local, we'll, or even if you want to fly into town, you can be a guest chef for one half hour of this show in which. So if Teddy wants to make German potato salad. Yeah. Or he has to come here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> or whatever gross thing that he wants to make. I don't know. Is uh, it gross? I, I don't know. know. It's red. I think they're red potatoes, and I also think it's bacon, and it's hot. Slightly hot. It's red potatoes and bacon, and it's hot. I don't see how that's bad. Well, there's other stuff in there. I think it's mayonnaise, and I don't know. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I don't know the recipe. I haven't looked it up because I don't like it that much. No, that's not true. But uh, I'm mostly no part of that is true. I'm mostly lazy. Uh, but yeah, I just want, so if you want to, you like, there's always, there's extra room over here. Look at this kitchen. It's gigantic. Uh, I don't want to get out because it's my birthday and I'm slightly drunk, but. Uh, <laughs> okay. Say goodbye. Good night. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us for another one of these crazy things. And we will, uh, I mean, we'll do them every week unless one of us is dead and then we won't. But. Uh, That's uh, ominous. <laughs> It's not like I'm promising anything. No. Chris, holidays make people stressed out. I already cried at work this week, so I'm yeah. done. Yeah, we're I'm done. good. Uh, anyways, just remember, as we always say here on the side dish, be kind, be loyal, and do something nice for somebody else this week. And we'll see you next week, and we love you all. You could use your focaccia. <laughs>